the new code is this is why Sasuke is winning gun is my favorite KG in the game. Make sure you guys join my new uh, Discord that I made for the game I'm making on Roblox. That's going to be coming out soon. So click the link in the description where it says my new game's Discord. And they should automatically take you to this page where it has the invite. Click accept invite and it should put you in my new game's Discord group. Also, make sure you guys join my main Discord group. Click the link where right next to it, where it says Discord group and click accept invite. Alright guys, so the new code is capital B bugs buddy expression mark and it gives you 15 spins guys hey what's up guys it's your boy the salam to one back with another video and today i'm going to be showcasing all the kgs guys so this is how it's gonna go guys i'm gonna be starting off with akamichi and then the next kg i'm gonna be showcasing is prakugan showcasing i mean is gonna be prakugan and then ice etc e e e you already know what i'm saying guys right so it's gonna go in order by the kg bag inventory order so all right guys so the first kg i'm gonna be showcasing is the akamichi kg so check it out, the first move is pretty dope, so it just makes you a giant ball and you roll for about 2 seconds. And the second move is same thing guys, makes you a giant ball but a ball with spikes and you roll for about 6 seconds, so check it out. Pretty dope right? Um, damn I can't land either one though. <laughs> okay I'm gonna land the last one for sure guys, this is the last move, check it out. And it makes your hand really fat, and then you can just go and attack your enemy with it, which is pretty dope, guys. So that's how much damage it does. The last one does a pretty good amount of damage. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to be showcasing the Pyakugan, guys. So check out the activation for it. Pretty dope. So the first move is pretty cool. So check it out. It just hits your opponent, um, move, and it pushes them away. So what it um, what it does is just hit the, your opponent's chakra point, and then it moves them away and does 25 damage. Big shout out to my boy AFT for being my test dummy and um, letting you guys know how much damage the move does. Big shout out to him. Okay, so the second move is my favorite move uh, for the Pyakugan. Pretty dope, guys. It could break blocks and it's pretty dope. Not bad. And the last move just just pushes you too. Hits your chakra up and pushes you. That was pretty OP. Tons of damage. You're right about that, my guy. All right, okay, guys. Next up is the Ice KG. So this is the first move, guys. Check it out. So what it does is just release a lot of spikes off the floor. So this is like a defensive move when somebody tries to come and attack you. It does a good, it does a good amount of damage, guys. So depending on what your enemy is, um, it depends on how much damage it does. This is the second move, guys. So what it does is just release a lot of spikes in a straight line. And if you land on your opponent without him blocking, it could do a lot of damage, even kill him though. Okay, so the last move is my favorite move on the Ice KG. So if you hold it, um, it just shows a lot of ice mirrors and they're both, all the ice mirrors are attacking your opponent all at once and it does a pretty good amount of damage, you even killed them bros, did you on that? Okay guys, the next KG is the fire KG which is one of my favorite KGs. So the first move is my favorite move on the lava KG. So what it does is shoot fireballs at your opponent. So you could just aim at your opponent and keep shooting fireballs until your shotgun runs out and it does a good amount of damage guys check it out That was pretty OP guys. No wonder the creator made it um, super rare to get And then the second move is pretty dope too So what it does is just make your body full of lava So anytime your opponent comes at you or tries to attack you the, the lava automatically attacks him So that's pretty dope guys. It does a good amount of damage guys. Not bad. Um, the last move is pretty dope guys, so what, what the last move basically does is, if you hold it, it just releases a lot of lava off the floor, um, on the floor guys, and the more you hold it, the more the lava spreads around, and it could attack more than one opponent, which is pretty dope, look how much damage it does, pretty dope guys, tell me now. Alright, next up is a Mumushiki KG, this is also one of my favorite KGs, so what the first move does is deflects attacks. So check it out it just reflected my attack and attacked him guys which is pretty dope all right so the second move is my favorite move on this kg so what it does is slam the hammer on the floor and just puts up red flames up and moves it and i mean pushes your enemy away and does a good amount of damage and takes all his chakra away which is pretty op guys and the last move is decent it's not strong and it's not weak it's a pretty decent move so what it does 
is you can hold on to it and then when you release um when you stop holding on to it it just shoots a lot of black bubbles told your opponent and it does a good amount of damage not bad it's not that weak and it's not that strong the shadow is pretty dope too it's really good kg for leveling up so this is the first move guys it releases, it releases a lot of spikes and it traps your opponent which is pretty dope okay the second move it does the same thing but it doesn't release a lot of spikes it just releases one fast spike and it traps your enemy and you can keep you can keep on holding on to it until you trap your opponent so for example if you're holding on to it and your opponent is not next to you and he comes next to you he could still get trapped on it which is pretty OP guys it's a great move to use to combo with other attacks pretty OP and the last move what it does is um almost does with the second move though almost does the same thing as the second move but instead of releasing one spike it releases a lot of spikes and you can hold on to it and it, and it also takes your opponent's chakra which is pretty op guys so when you activate the ring gun it releases this black steel your hand let me know what's the name of it in the comments i kind of forgot okay the first move is pretty good guys so what it does is pull your opponent in guys pull them towards you which is pretty dope and then you can automatically attack them once they're next to you and also does a good amount of damage which is pretty OP the second move is my favorite which is the almighty push so what it does is pushes your enemy away so he can't attack you I don't know why it didn't push him away but it should push your enemy away bruh I just glitched bruh I think the running gun is glitched guys what the hell so what the last move does is just put your opponent up in the air and then it starts creating the Shupake Tensei I believe and it does a pretty good amount of damage. It traps your enemy. You could combo with Ice KG or you could wait for him until he falls and then start attacking him. And it does a good amount of damage, guys. Not bad. The first move for the Magnet KG is just sand. Like, you attack them with sand. Almost like the, what's it called? Water um, Ninjutsu. So, it's just... I don't know what to call it, man. I'm so confused. It, it's just sand to Tsunami. To tsunami. So what it does is just, when you activate the first move, you just move sands towards your enemy. Even though they're really far, you can still land it on them, which is pretty dope. I don't know how to explain, it's really hard to explain. The second move is pretty dope, guys. So you have to be close to your enemy, and then once you use it, it traps them in this, what's it called? In a sand barrel, which is pretty dope, guys. And then the last move is just, what's it called? It activates a uh, sand shield around you, so it looks pretty dope, and it kind of protects you. And it hurts your enemy every time you go next to them, which is pretty dope. So, you know what? Cross that, guys. We're going to be showcasing Sasuke's winning gun last. I'm going to hop on his account to showcase it. Okay, fine. This dude really wants to be the test dummy so bad, guys. <laughs> okay, so next up is a Sharon Gun, which is not that rare. You can easily get it, but it's pretty OP, not gonna lie. It's not that weak and it's not that strong, so... Activation is pretty clean. Okay, so what the first move does is usually read your opponent's um, moves. So once you have it activated, you could automatically see your opponent's move that he's about to use, which is pretty dope. So check it out. I don't know why it's not showing the move. It should. But yeah, guys, you should have the move on top of his head. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, look, look like that, guys. So as you can see, we're on top of his head, guys. Um, You see a move that he's, that he's about to activate. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Okay, the first move, you could just keep spamming it. And then it puts this on the screen so they can't really see. And you could attack them without them seeing their screen, which is pretty dope. The second move puts them in the Jinjutsu. That's pretty dope, but you got to be close to them. And then the last move is my favorite, which is the Black Flames, I believe, right? Yep, the Black Flames, which is pretty dope. So you gotta be, like, um, a certain distance from your opponent, like, this far, I believe. And then you could use it on them, which is pretty dope. And then um, it just activates the Black Flames, guys. And you can keep attacking them until you run out of chakra. And it's pretty OP, guys. I mean, instead of showcasing Sasuke's Winter Gone, I'm gonna be showcasing it last since I don't have it. When I hop on my subscribers account, also Storm, I'm gonna be showcasing it last. Showcasing it last. Cause I accidentally put on um, magnet on the storm slot, so that was a fail for me. And I'm gonna be showcasing Bone Keiji also last. So the cases I'm gonna be showcasing right now is Tensegon. Gonna be equipping it in the second slot. Okay, Wood third slot and uh, a Burumu KG, which is in my first slot. My favorite KG activation is the Tensegon activation because it looks pretty clean and dope, guys. Alright, check it out. This is the first move. 
not the first move, bro. I accidentally equipped it by accident, but that was the last move, guys. So what it does is, if you hold on to it, um, it just releases a lot of, like all the black stuff behind you. Um, I forgot what it's called, but the orbs, I believe. Once you hold on to it, um, it starts draining your chakra, and then the black orbs start attacking your opponent, which is pretty OP. Okay, now let's showcase the first move. So the first move is a uh, Rasengan. I, I believe it's a Rasengan. It's a I don't know what's this called. Let me see what it's called. It's called the uh, Silver Wheel Recent Re Creation. Recent Creation. Bruh, I don't even know if I said that right. But this is how it looks like, guys. And then you could just go up to your opponent and attack them with it, which is pretty dope. It does a good amount of damage. And then the last move is pretty dope too. It pulls your opponent and then it just does damage to them, which is pretty dope, guys. There's a good amount of damage. The first move, what it does, I forgot what the first move does. Yeah, it just releases spikes, I believe. Wood spikes and it attacks your opponent. There's a good amount of damage. The second move, it, it traps your opponent. We have to be really close to them, I believe. Bro, why isn't it working? Okay, let me retry it. Some cages aren't working for some reason. So I don't know why it didn't work. But it should trap them, just like the last move. But the last move, you could be really far and still catch them and trap them. So check it out. So the second move does the same thing, but it doesn't release a dragon and trap them. And it traps more than one opponent, which is pretty dope, guys. GG on that to the Kari Bros. Pretty dope. I mean, carrot bros. Next up is the Aburumo KG, the one that just released, the new KG that released, guys. So I'm not gonna be able to showcase all the moves due to the bug that carrot bros didn't fix yet. So I'm gonna be showcasing the first two moves. So check it out. The first move, you gotta be really close to your opponent. And once, once you activate it, it puts him in a black bubble full of bugs, floats him into the air, and then explodes, which is pretty dope. The second move does the same thing, but it releases, it's like a distant move. Oh, breath. I accidentally used um, wood KG. Fail. So this is what it does, guys. It just shoots a black bubble full of bugs. Instead of making them float, it just puts them in the black bubble and explodes, guys. Activate activation for Sasuke's winning on is pretty clean. Not gonna lie. All right. So the first move is pretty dope. So what the first move does is release a lot of black flames, I believe. But it pulls your opponent into you while you're releasing the black flames and it does a good amount of damage this is why sasuke's winter gun is my favorite kg in the game the second move is also puts your opponent in and it's a uh, rasengan with black flames also so i mean shidori with black flames and it sucks your opponent i mean puts your opponent to you and then once you release it, it attacks him which is pretty dope guys so what the last move does is release a lot of shippo's attention from the sky and if it hits your opponent it does a good amount of damage not bad so check it out, it just releases a lot of shippo's attention from the sky and it starts falling. So anybody around you gets hit easily. So yeah, shout out to my boy FT for letting me showcase Sasuke's Winnegan and Storm on his account. He's on my account, so I'm going to be showcasing the Storm KG on his account. So the first move for the Storm KG is my favorite. So what it does is pretty OP, guys. So what it does, guys, is... um. Make it it just makes it rain guys from the sky purple rain and anybody around you anybody around you gets attacked I don't know why he's not getting attacked and it does a pretty good amount of damage It just killed AF and my other boy Nick, which is pretty OP And I think it killed this dude that wasn't getting attacked Which is pretty clean guys not bad the second move does the same thing But your opponent has to be next to you so check it out it releases a small cloud and attacks your opponent which is pretty dope guys and then the last move is pretty strong so you could attack them from far away or close range so if you're close range it automatically kills them i think so check it out now it doesn't kill them but yeah it does kill them if you're in close range which is pretty op but if you're a little bit far and you still attack them it doesn't really kill them but it does a lot of damage on them guys which is pretty dope guys so guys check it out um, I'm going to be show you guys a clip on one of my previous videos I did showcasing the bone KG. Since I can't find somebody with the bone KG to showcase it for me, and I also don't have the bone KG. So yeah, guys, I'm just gonna be showing you a clip I did on my recent video showcasing all the moves for the bone KG. So yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, share the video with a friend, and most importantly, leave a comment what video I should do next. Here's a clip of me showcasing the bone KG, guys. All right, the first move is pretty OP, guys. So if you are next to the uh, your opponent and you're using the first move, that's an automatic L for your opponent, guys. So don't get close to a um, bone KG um, user. So yeah.
It's not really called Bone KG, but I don't know how to say the name of it. It's really hard, guys. But I'm just gonna keep calling it Bone KG for now. Alright, so the second move is alright, guys. It's like a defensive move. So when your opponent is trying to come at you and you're at low health, just use the second move and he just pushes them back. Which is pretty OP, guys. The last move I really like, guys. It's really clean and dope, guys. The last move is just, it's just like almost like a finisher move. So check it out, bro. This is the last move. Check it out, bros. Check it out. Looks pretty clean. And then it throws you straight to the ground and makes a full animation. GG, bros. And it, it does a good amount of damage. Not a lot and not a little bit. It's pretty, it's pretty okay, guys.